Last year, Americans logged on to buy nearly $94 billion worth of goods during the holidays. And experts expect up to a 20% jump this year. Now, at the same time, online fraud attempts increased more than 30% last year. And scammers, well, they keep getting better. In an Action News special assignment tonight, what you can do to help ensure your digital Christmas shopping experience is safe, merry, and bright. Well, I shop online all the time. Um, I would say at least once a day. Allison Chaltis is an executive and busy wife and mom. So when it comes to shopping, it's all about the click and buy. I do all my clothing shopping online, um, all my gift shopping online. As e-commerce keeps growing as a percentage of overall retail sales, experts say scammers are also hard at work to catch you off guard. The trend is for fraudsters to take existing scams and make them harder to detect, such as fake puppy postings, links promising must-have items for prices well below market value. So what scammers do, they go on, on social media platforms and they advertise great products that are real products, only cheaper. And they would send them to their own duplicate sites. The key tip while shopping, look up at the URL and make sure it starts with HTTPS. So if they don't have that, if the, the duplicate site doesn't have HTTPS and it only has HTTP, you can rest assured that, that that's a scam. Also, look at reviews of a site before buying, but don't depend on testimonials on the site itself because those too can be fake. Allison says she always does her homework before buying. I also kind of count on my credit card provider to be an extra level of security. Now experts warn the old iTunes gift card scam is still out there if you receive an email with a receipt for a gift card you never sent and it gives you a link to cancel, don't click on the link. It likely takes users to a fake website that asks for personal information. And of course, never shop on public Wi-Fi where your information can be easily accessed.